Hello and welcome to a look at the bank discount yield with me, Andy Duncan, here at finlingo.com. The bank discount yields, also known as the plain discount yield or the bank discount rate or even the bank discount basis. Whatever it's called, it's highly used within the money markets, especially for fixed income instruments sold without coupons and at a discount to a published face value. This includes particularly US Treasury bills or other similar discount instruments with a maturity date of less than one year. Here are the basic two formulas. We have the bank discount yield, which is equal to the dollar discount divided by the face value, multiplied by 360, divided by the time to maturity in days of the financial instrument. The dollar discount itself is equal to the face value minus the price. We'll talk about all of these terms in a minute or two. We can write these formulas out in a shorter format. So BDY equals D divided by F multiplied by 360 over T and D equals F minus P. Now let's do a quick example to go through all these terms. My friend Sean buys a Finlingo bank bill in Finlingo City on Finlingo Island with a face value of 100 Finlingo gold dollars. He pays $91.11 for this fantastic discounted financial instrument. There are 232 days to go before the bill matures and he can then collect 100 gold ounce dollars from Finlingo Bank. So what's the bank discount yield on this particular financial instrument? The dollar a discount, if you remember, is the difference between the face value and the price Sean paid. So that's $100 minus $91.11, which is equal to $8.89. We can now write out the bank discount yield equation in full, which is 8.89 divided by 100 multiplied by 360 divided by 232, which is equal to 0.137948. And this is approximately equal to 13.7. So why the 360 rather than the actual number of days in a year, whether that's 365 or 366 in a leap year? Well, this goes back to the ancient Babylonians 4,000 years ago, who divided their year into 360 days, with five holy days on top, because it's a lot easier to divide a holy circle into 360 mathematical degrees than it is to divide a circle into 365 degrees. The first banks we know of were also set up in ancient Babylonia, Babylonia, and they made loans in grain to traders who traded them with Assyria. This might help you to remember that the bank discount yield uses 360, just like the 360 degrees from ancient Babylon, because those ancient banks probably also used 360. Moving through time to the days of chalk and blackboards in the Victorian financial markets, and this was before computers and calculators, it was also much easier to work in terms of 360 days in a year and 30 days in a month whenever doing doing rapid mathematical calculations on a blackboard. Just to check our own mathematics, let's plug these figures into a cunning Excel spreadsheet I set up to make sure we've got the right numbers. So that's a face value of 100, a dollar price of 91.11, and a time to maturity of 232 days before Sean can go and get the $100. This gives us what we wanted, which is 13.79%. Now let's try an example on finlingo.com to really burn this equation into our brains. Pick out the right numbers and avoid getting the wrong ones put there deliberately. Slot them into the equation and figure out a bank discount yield. Now check we got the result on Finlingo. Choose it, then move on. Head over now to finlingo.com to try out an infinite number of bank discount yield questions and other different yield questions until you've got all four main types fully sorted out in your head. Also take a look at our three other videos on the holding period yield, the effective annual yield and the money market yield, which are also related to the bank discount yield. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.